Again! I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. So shiny! Play as a whistle. Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. That's much better. My back feels better. Play as a whistle. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Well done, Patrick. Did I get a cookie? No. That's much better.
Present everyone. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. That's much better. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. quite right. Oh, don't look down, Patrick. Don't look down. Ah, I look...
You've just met the Sponginator. is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> like a spring breeze. Opening presents. Problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, uh, what if I just gave you this?
downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. like a new sponge. running. Thank you. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? I love opening presents. Ow! 
I feel like a new sponge. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break the my shell. You've got a deal. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Take it! 
Smash all the deep! I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. I feel like a new sponge. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Smash all the teeth. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! 
That gap looks impossible. And impassable! Okay, okay. I'll go get Sandy to help me out. I love opening presents. Cha-ching! <laughs> 